What's up everyone? So today we are installing the headers onto the truck. Uh, if you guys saw me ceramic coat them already, they are done. They've been drying for a few days and I am really antsy to get these put on. Uh, we've got to get the factory stuff off of there. So I do still have the exhaust manifold, which I've soaked the bolts in PB Blast, uh, just a kind of penetrating catalyst. Uh, I've been spraying them. Um, so that they could soak and hopefully get as little breakage as possible. I'm hoping to not break any, uh, but as I was inspecting it, it actually looks like there's already two broken bolts there on the very far back by the firewall on both sides. It looks like the bolts are broken. So when I get in there and actually can see better, uh, we'll see if that's the case, but I'm not seeing a head on there. So I'm guessing that they're both broken. There isn't any exhaust leak or anything there, which is good. So I, I didn't even notice that they're apparently not there. But uh, hopefully we can extract them pretty easily when we actually get in there. But let's get to it. So I don't know how much you guys will be able to see of what I'm actually doing here, but we've got, we got a lot of stuff in the way. We've got a couple bolts we gotta get out. Uh, and you can see, uh, no, you can't really see the back there. Yeah, you can kind of see that we're missing a bolt head there. So I think I'm gonna have to extract that one by the looks of it, unless there just isn't a bolt there. And on the other side here, we've got a lot more stuff in the way. So I think I'm gonna start on the passenger side, get that side at least out first, and we can start on the driver's side. Got the first one out really easily, hopefully. The rest of them all go the same way. That actually went surprisingly well. The bolts all came out really easily. I do see the stud on this side of that rear one that's broken. Uh, there is no head on it, but I do see the stud there. So hopefully that one will extract pretty easily. The other side, I don't see a head, so it may have broken flush. But I'm hoping there's just not one in there for some reason, but I guess we'll see when we get over there. Both manifolds are undone. Uh, I guess now I need to get underneath it and start on doing Y pipe and stuff. Well, I got you guys underneath the truck with me and something that I have just discovered that I didn't realize before, whoever put on this cat back exhaust cut that flange off right here. So I don't have a flange to bolt this to. So apparently I'm gonna be doing some welding, which is fine, I just wasn't really planning on it. I guess I'm gonna grab the Sawzall, start cutting this thing out so that I can put the headers in. <laughs> well guys, I actually had a bit of an accident and hurt myself. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we got Miguel and Kevin here to come help do some headers and the cam. Hopefully so, they don't get hurt. <laughs> get, get no, no more getting hurt. But we'll finish up the headers and Miguel will probably start on pulling apart the front end for the cam. Even though there'll be two separate videos, you'll see some overlap. So yeah. Let's get cranking. Hi guys. We're, we're, we're cutting things. We're doing stuff. I got a, <laughs> I got a Sawzall. I'm not a responsible adult. I probably shouldn't be handling this. Oh well.
case you guys were ever wondering about growing your hair out, for those of you that uh, are <laughs> mechanics and like upgrading your stuff, um, note a caution. Having long hair while underneath a vehicle or on a creeper is dangerous because you can get a strand of hair caught in a wheel and it's not fun. I'll tell you from experience, it sucks. I, I, I had this up in a ponytail, but it didn't last long. So, note of caution. Don't have long hair if you're gonna be wrenching on stuff underneath the vehicle on a creeper. A sneak peek. Let's see if we can, oh, you see the manifolds. All the bolts are undone. I've chopped all the pipes out, uh, both sides. And I just need Steve's help, just a pinch to make sure that this comes off easily and doesn't kill me as I'm underneath. Not that it would kill me, but y'all know what I mean. I got one header out, or manifold, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nice and easy. The one on the passenger side, though, unfortunately has the, uh, what'd you say, transmission dipstick? Oil, it's the engine oil dipstick. Engine oil dipstick well, that goes between the headers, so something like that, right? It goes bloop right between them, and we can't pull it out. Unfortunately, these dipsticks can't get that. Dipstick. What he said, these dipsticks can't get that dipstick out. So we've got to unbolt it from the what'd you say, engine block is where it's yeah, attached, and then we'll be able to do some a jiggling. So, uh, again, manifold, and there's that little bolt that he's uh, wrenching on, and that bracket goes up to that yellow bit right there. That's the dipstick. And then the tube behind it. Let's see if I can point it out without messing up the camera. Oh, it's it's that guy right in front of my fingertip. Ooh, that little tube. Yeah, it goes it goes down in between the, the mani. Right down there. Oop, wrong way. That way. That way. Yeah, it goes down through there. So we're gonna have to pull that. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. Oh, oh. Dipstick tube. Nice dipstick tube, dipstick. Thank you. You're welcome. Give me, give me those, and give me, you. You take the, okay, you, you take the camera. That's not. <laughs> hold the camera. That's a perfect way to hold a camera. <laughs> Can you guys see everything? <laughs> so good. Look at how well this Cerakote turned out. Oh my goodness. Woo. I watched the video actually earlier this morning uh, as I was on my way back home. A little bit of runs, but it sprays out thinner than normal, normal paint. 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 Yeah, so. these, these turned out great. I am very impressed with them. And they're quite light too. That is a very cool upgrade, Steve. They do not need to be pretty. No. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could hear Steve, but he makes a point. These don't need to be pretty by any means. Because they're going underneath the hood. Yeah. Grease, oil, you name it, it's underneath there already. They're gonna get <laughs> These are the old ones. OEM, right? Stock. The O2 sensors? Manifolds. Oh, manifolds, yeah. O2 I, sensors have probably been replaced at some point. I'm guessing that one of these OEM pieces is probably the same weight as both of his new ones, yeah. if not heavier. No. So here on the board. On the, yeah. No, yeah. the old one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, I saw the new one. Over here on the Still over here on the Hey, speaking. Sorry. He is. Hey, you. Where Where are you at with this right now? So, someone else broke the rear stud. I assume that the exhaust has been out at some point because of how easy the rest of them came out and that there were two broken studs on it, one on each side. So this one broke flush, so I need to put some weld on it to actually grab something. The other one didn't need anything. And I, I was able to get that one out with channel locks and then kind of thread it once I got it loose enough. Right, you'll be able to record from right here if you want. Yeah. And you can look at it in the phone. You obviously can't look at it, but you can look at it in the phone because it won't burn your eyeballs out. Yay. Oh, well, let's, before you get started, let me see if I can get a glance in here. I 
kind of reached in a second ago, guys, but you may not be able to tell. But he's got that paper towel stuffed inside the port, and it's that bolt directly to the left that broke off less than flush. So he's going to try his best, which is why he's got the welder out to tap something onto there so that he can then hopefully thread it out. And sorry for all the wind. It's, what is it? Be beginning first two weeks of April right now. And, and you can see- 70 you... degrees yesterday. So it's 30 degrees today. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, as I was pulling the header out on this side, it caught that spark plug <laughs> and uh, destroyed it. Yes. Look at that. My fear is that your weld built up on the, on the threading. It's aluminum. It won't stick to it. Oh, interesting. It's All right. Head, so okay. So you should be able to, it'll, it'll harden, stiffen up and you'll be able to hopefully able to grab onto it with the vice grips and just give it enough. If not, then we'll weld we'll at it again. Would slapping some PB blaster over it maybe be beneficial? No, it won't make any difference. The heat no. will do the same thing the PB blaster did. Oh, good point. Um, expands, cools, uh, loosens it. Yeah. So it's got a whole bunch of heat on it right now. All right. So uh, where are we at with uh, them uh, headers there, Steve? Uh, so doing our first pa first pass, torquing them down. Got my cute little inch pound torque wrench. Because uh, the first pass is 11 foot pounds, but when it's that low, I don't like doing foot pounds. I'd rather do inch pounds, so you get a really positive click. So good first pass, 11. Uh, second pass, 18. You work from the middle out and alternate. So you do the middle two and then alternate which one you're doing back and forth. You see them pretty Cerakoted there, headers? A little, little scratchy. Yeah, unfortunately we had yeah. some some tappage and uh, you can see it right there on the first piece that we uh, were tapping it against the drive shaft. Steering shaft. Uh, steering shaft, excuse me. And so we ended up having to actually pull that off to get the header to come up from the bottom because it was just tapping in the way. As soon as I run them, it'll bake on, and it'll be nice and hard. Right now, it's not baked, so, because it's just the air dry. Yep. I come around here, y'all, because I'm working on that weld that Steve did, and we done got it loose. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one hand, with one hand, but we going to try. We going to try. Let's see. Can he do it? No, he can't. Not very motivational. <laughs> Can he do it? No, he sucks. <laughs> we know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Look at it wiggle! Look at it wiggle! Alright, we're going to keep going on this because this is way too challenging with one hand. So I don't know if I lost the footage in this section or I just got preoccupied working on the truck. But, I don't have this footage, so hey look, a header. Well guys, we're over at Miguel's. Got the truck up on a lift so we can finish the exhaust, because that white pipe needs some modifying by the looks of it. So now we can actually get under it, see what we're doing. You guys a quick update of where we're at so you guys saw us put on the crossover the white pipe uh, see the fitment issue that we've got here and there's no way to correct that because it's in both sides so I'm just gonna weld here 
we do have the clamp there for if I, or when I need to remove it to get this transmission out. And the clamp there. And right now we got Kevin sanding on the old pipe that was already there, which is not old. It's like, it's an aftermarket exhaust, but it's rusty. Uh, and then we're gonna have the pipe slip onto here. It'll clamp here and I'll weld it onto this side so that we can remove it there if we need to. Well guys, we are finally done with the truck. Um, got a dyno tune tomorrow morning. Yeah. So the exhaust is all finished up. The cam is all finished up. So keep an eye out for that video. Um, I'm not gonna let you guys hear the exhaust yet. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't wanna. <laughs> You're so <laughs> rude. Uh, and we've got the dyno tune tomorrow. So we'll have a dyno video for, for you guys as well. So check out the uh, cam video after this video is done. Yeah. Check out the dyno video and check out all the content that I'll have at LS Fest. We will see you guys very soon. I'm so excited that you're making it to LS Fest. I can't believe we did this. We made clutch, it, boys. Clutch time. If the truck blows up, it's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs>